Okay, just dress the stone, 7 16 and I'm going to go ahead and take a cut on these legacies, Ultima legacies here. Oh, we're going to check the squareness. I'm going to kick the vacuum on in a second. Okay, got it going. Make the quick switch. There's one little place here that I had an error in, so I went back and just did a couple little cuts on there. Turn off the vacuum. Using a Model F Electrolux. Okay, got the skate still in the holder. I've got it off the machine. And this is just a gross thing. They use this a lot of times in hockey. And the length of that isn't really that long. You can see if you got a gross hair. Um, with the incredible edger they have got a double steel square here from Sterrett and I'm going to do this first with it in the holder here you can actually put this down so the flat of this is actually touching the blade and you can sight along here to see it may be difficult to photograph And down here, I can go through and see that that's correct. You can go farther down. I can take this out of the holder to look at it. Or I can go through and shorten this up. And I've got to go ahead and shorten that up. Now, with this shortened up, this is really not, doesn't have that much. I can just detect a gross error and I can see from down here that it looks correct then I'm going to go ahead and take the skate out of the holder just as a double check too okay I've taken the skate out of the holder these are Ultima Legacies and let me see if I can be able to get this a little bit better got the square this side on this particular blade is parallel to this other side and then you have the side hone the relief here this is actually right here is this non-chromed area so that's not a good reference but this is a good reference on this particular blade so I've got this extended this is going to go on the top of the uh, you can actually see through like that Need to get a better focus then I can see whether I've got this matched up like this it's close I could probably get a little bit better in there if I put both of those on there you can detect whether it's parallelism if you get it really close it's really easy to detect if you have an error. So you go down here and do it at this end, and then at this end. You want to see if it's like this or like this. But when it's really close, uh, it's easy to detect if you've got any uh, one edge is higher or lower. So I'm using this side of the square, it's touching the skate blade, and then I'm looking to where it touches using this as a reference surface to see if exaggerated if it's like this or this and let me just show you over here see if I can quickly sketch this up the blade exaggerated looks like this 
and the square is going in here like this. The square is going touching these two surfaces and going down and mating on this to see if it's like this or like this. So if it touches right over here you can see a gap that's going over or if it touches down here and you see the gap over here it means that this is low and this is high. So it's this type of thing uh, is basically doing the same as this but it's a lot more a little bit more accurate to see um, depends how finicky you are whether one inch is either higher or lower or not uh, it can make a lot of difference with some skates some skaters so this has got a 7 16 Again, this is the fixture for holding the blade. This goes on here like this. And I was able with this particular blade to measure about, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch up onto here. But you can get a little bit more taken out of the holder. So you can get it pretty much very close with it in the holder. Take it out. You've got the whole side chrome. Again, some this particular blade, these are parallel. Some blades are not. You get some that are uh, like this. You can look at your reflection in the side here to see if that's the type of reflection to see what it is. With this you don't have, you have a different type of reference. Okay, these are John Wilson gold seals and they have a profile to the cross section here like that. So if you use a square on there, if you use a, just a gizmo like this to get it rough, you're eyeballing it uh, with the square here when you put this up you're going to get the kind of curve shaped gap under there like that so that actually is touching here and here you just got to be careful uh, this is thinner here than it here or here. Now if somebody ground this edge down again, you're going to be in trouble. If somebody goes through and grinds this down, uh, you might want to go through and mic between here and here to make sure you've actually got a decent reference. Or go ahead and check both sides. Go ahead and measure this side for squareness and go this side before you decide one side is higher than another. And those are gold seal. John Wilson. Okay, with these Paramount blades, with kind of like the diamond cross section where that's aluminum, the question that lies is what do you have for a reference? You know, you can put a gizmo like this on here and uh, make sure you got a real long baseline. If you get the square on here like this, what are you actually measuring to? You're going to measure the spot side to this stanchion right here. You've got one spot extending that down. Let's go look at that real quick. The surface I clamped with the skate holder through here, I could go theoretically and put the square on here and measure with respect to that and flip it over and then have this as a reference surface but again now I'm only going to have a surface here one right through here and maybe down through here 
which is a little bit exciting to figure out if you're actually on the money or not. Very difficult. So you just wonder if you should have a fixture grab the side and have a magnetic one and have a long moment arm here, longer arm to see if any there's any cross error. So if you use this as the reference surface through here, and then you had this longer with the magnet holding a straight edge, so you can measure it off this way to detect some changes because the datum on here uh, only thing I can see you could use is this part right through here which isn't very much or over right through here and then this whole other region you don't have anything really to measure with respect to that's the fun of a wild looking blade